Good afternoon, and welcome to yet another season of Walkies and Talking with Heather on Lockdown. Hopefully this is the last season. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to be, you know, like friends and go ten seasons, that would be a bit much. Right, so I hope you all had a good weekend. You probably didn't eat much rabbit food. Um, I didn't. I ate a lot of chocolate Easter eggs. So rabbit food is healthy food, like lettuce, salad, vegetables. Not what we do at Easter, no. Anyway, as it's Easter, I thought I'd talk to you about expressions in English using egg, the word egg and rabbit. So, we've done rabbit food. Um, you could also have a nest egg. So a nest egg is a nice little sum of money that you put to, aside and you keep for one day when you might need it, when you retire or, you know, when there's a shuffle in the government and you lose your job. Um, also, you could have a bad egg or a good egg. So a bad egg is somebody who's not trustworthy, not honest, and a good egg is the opposite. So those Russian cyber hackers, they are very bad eggs. If you egg someone on, that means you encourage them to do something silly or dangerous. So you know, the class egged on the new student to speak French in Mrs. Kazot's class, which is very, very risky. If somebody says you're one egg short of a dozen, this is not a compliment. It means that you're a little bit silly, or crazy or lazy. Not good. We also say you can't make an omelette without breaking some eggs. So that means that you can't fix a situation without making it worse for some other people. Uh, if you walk on eggshells, that means that you tread very carefully, you're very careful about what you say and what you do around people. So maybe tonight there could be people walking on eggshells around the Minister of Education because it's been kind of a rough day for him because this morning he put all his eggs in one basket. Yes, that's right. He put all his hopes on the ENT working, which of course it didn't. Uh, so that was a bit disappointing. And uh, well, it could have been improved in a year. You would have thought we would have made some progress since March 2020. And that left some people with egg on their faces. That means, you know, in an embarrassing situation or embarrassed. I'm not naming names, not at all. But luckily for those in the education department, the teachers, many teachers, managed to still pull a rabbit out of a hat this morning and teach class or make contact with their students. So if you pull a rabbit out of the hat, that means you, you find a solution miraculously, almost by magic and you know, surprisingly and quickly. And well, that's, you know, what we teachers do. We're like magicians, really, aren't we? Anyway, I'm not going to rabbit on because, quite honestly, my fingers are freezing and it's Tuesday. We're all very tired. And, uh, well, I'll speak to you tomorrow anyway. So have a lovely evening and maybe eat some rabbit food to, you know, compensate for all the chocolate. <laughs>